And now, as we prepare for our children's moment, let us join together in our favorite hymn, Jesus Loves Me. Hey kids, do you know what today is? It's a very special day in the church. It's a day that we call Pentecost. Some people even consider it maybe the birthday of the church. And that's because it's a time when God gave us the Holy Spirit. Now the story is found in the book of Acts. And I'm going to read to you just a small portion of it. In chapter 2, starting in verse 1, it says, When the day of Pentecost came, They were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Isn't that an amazing story? Well, One of the things about that story is that thing about how the Spirit came like a rushing wind. And one way that we can know that there is wind is that we can hear it. You know, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I turn on the TV to see what the weather is doing. There are some mornings that I don't even have to look at the television because I know that the wind is blowing. Why? Because I can hear it. I can hear it whistling through the trees and I can hear it coming down the chimney or around the windows and doors. We can't see the wind, but we know it is there because we can hear it. Another way that we can know the wind is here is that we can see it moving things. We can see it moving the leaves on a tree. Maybe it's blowing bits of paper around. We can't see the wind, but we know it is here because we can see what the wind is doing. Another way that we know that the wind is here is that we can feel it. Blow on the back of your hand. (sighs) Did you see anything? No. But I'll bet you could feel something, couldn't you? We can't see the wind, but we can feel it blowing against our faces, blowing through our hair, blowing on the back of our hand. Today, many churches are celebrating this day, and that's because it was this day many, many years ago, that God sent His Holy Spirit to the church. God tells us that the apostles were all gathered together, and suddenly there was a sound like a mighty and a rushing wind. Then it says that they were filled with the Holy Spirit, also known as the Holy Ghost. And God's Holy Spirit is like the wind. We can't see Him, but we know that He is here, just like we know that the wind is here. We can know that the Holy Spirit is here because we can hear Him. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him. Now, we can't see the Holy Spirit, but we can know He is here because He speaks into our hearts. Another way that we can know the Holy Spirit is here is because we can see Him moving people to do God's will. The Bible says the Spirit of God moves His people to speak and to do things for Him. That's told to us in 2 Peter, in the first chapter, in the 21st verse. But we can't see God, but we can see people doing things that God's Holy Spirit has moved them to do. We can know that the Holy Spirit is here because we can feel His presence. In Psalm 23, in verse 4, the Bible says, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. The Bible also says that if we love one another, God lives in us. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but we know He is there because we can feel His presence in our lives. 
One way that we try to remind ourselves about the importance of the Spirit is through symbols in the church. Sometimes you see the Holy Spirit represented as a dove because we see in the Bible that it talks about the Spirit like a dove rested on Jesus' shoulder and stayed there. You also see it in the symbol of our congregation. In the Methodist Church, where our symbol or logo is a cross, and the cross represents, of course, the cross of Jesus Christ, our Savior. But right next to it, right beside it, is a tongue of fire. It represents this time in Pentecost because we want to be a Spirit-filled church. And so now, let us ask God to help us receive the Holy Spirit so that we can have Him moving in us. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit. Even though we can't see him, we are thankful that we can hear him speak to our hearts. We feel his presence in our daily lives, and we see him moving us to do your will. Fill us, Lord, until we are overflowing with the power of Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.